my family's from Batangas. Uh, I have a couple family in C Cebu. So, I mean, my mother is actually born in Manila. So, um, I'm half Filipino. My dad's uh, African American. And uh, just basically, I, I always wanted to come back here. I always, I never got the chance because I'm so busy in basketball back home in the States. But I always wanted to come out here and play, represent. If you didn't notice, I had Milanzo on the back of my jersey. So, I just wanted to represent my family while I come out here and play. Seattle, Washington. I actually went to the same high school as like superstar uh, Chris Benchero. O'Day, O'Day private school in uh, Seattle. My mom was born here and uh, she moved to Leyte when she was a baby. So all my family's still in uh, Leyte, about three hours away from Tacloban. I met him last summer for the first time and then this is my second time here. I was born in Hawaii, uh, moved to Maryland when I was a kid and then I moved to Florida. So I spent most of my time in Florida. Both my parents are Filipino. Uh, they're both from around the Bulacan, Calaocan area. So shout out to whoever's out there that's watching. Um, but yeah, as you heard, I'm full Filipino, 6'9". Uh, yeah, I don't know where it comes from, but I'm full. I grew up in Perth, Western Australia. Um, I was there for most of my life. And then when I was 18, I played in the United States. I have a bunch of bunch of friends that are Filipino. There's a lot, a lot of Filipinos in Seattle, Washington, especially. So, very big community. There's actually like a Filipino community center by my house. So, I mean, I always have love for this for this side. Maryland. I mean, there is in like uh, the DMV, and like the you know the Dallas. Um, I said Dallas, the DC, Maryland, Virginia area. It is, but uh, at the time I didn't know. So, I mean, when I moved to Florida, it really wasn't a that big of a Filipino. Um, in my city anyway, there's a there's a bigger population in Jacksonville, but uh, not not as much in Fort Lauderdale. No, there wasn't that big of a community at all in the in the states. I mainly hung around, you know, my college and my teammates and I think I was probably one of five Asians on campus. But um, you know, just coming here to the Philippines it's it's no different. People are people and the people here are lovely. I got to know about Philippine basketball mainly through the internet, but when I was in the States, uh, my first year there when I was 18, um, I was playing one of my games and uh, Rob Reyes, an ex-PBA player, he came up to me after the game and he just told me about the opportunity to play in the PBA or in the Philippines. So that's, that's pretty much how I heard about the Philippine Basketball Association and basketball in the Philippines. And I still keep in contact with him. I haven't. I, I, it's kind of, I'm learning as I'm going when I first got here. So, uh, you know, it's, uh, every game's a new learning experience. Every practice is a new learning experience. So, uh, you know, I'm just kind of taking the, taking the information as I go. The drums are crazy. It's something, something different to play with, especially if you're on the free throw line, they're still banging the drums. But as far as the crowd, I mean, it's it's just super fun playing in front of a crowd like that. Super, super emotional. Uh, I love the green side, the blue side. I mean, got got a little bit harsh with them, but I mean, I loved everyone in the arena. I love the competitiveness. I know it's just all basketball at the end of the day.